Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, just wanted to uh, take a moment uh, and uh, first of all, enjoy the spring weather that we're having here. Today is going to be absolutely gorgeous, but uh, I'm out on site today. We're having a lot of problems in the market right now because of the inventory situation that we're dealing with, right? Um, there are not a whole lot of homes uh, available. So we have a, an overabundance of buyers out here and it's making it really difficult for people to get into the homes that they want to get into. And so what are the types of things that we can look at, guys? And, and some of the ideas that, that come to mind is, is getting out of, of what's easy uh, to jump into. And that may be uh, the existing type homes that are out here. We're short on those. Uh, the ability to uh, create new opportunities for housing is kind of what we're talking about in that uh, this this housing shortage, guys, if you do the research, it's not going away. We're currently in the middle of uh, one of the largest surges of new home buyers coming into the market, and it, the experts are all telling us to expect that to continue for the next probably at least four to five years when you go back and look at the number of 30-somethings who are coming of age entering the home buying market guys this thing isn't going to change anytime soon and so what can we do um throwing a little video out here for any of the builders any of the investors guys i'm standing in front of what is going to be a tremendous draw this is in the background guys you can see the new junction city high school under construction now this thing is set to open uh in august of this year uh, if you've not seen any of the information on it i encourage you to get out and do the research they are doing uh they are doing this thing right um, they have an entire uh, business and technology section there's a, a fine arts section and there's a, a science and engineering section and then uh, over my shoulder here, kind of on this uh, west end, they're having a whole section of the high school is nothing um, but classrooms designed for incoming freshmen and, and making that transition from middle school into a high school of this size. And guys, uh, this market uh, out here, just over the hill to the south, um, is a fairly new middle school as well. So any of the families that we uh, that may uh, look to come into this Junction City area, there are a lot of opportunities here for long term. Uh, in that, uh, if you've got young kids, um, we've got the middle school on the the other side of uh, Highway 18 with the high school over here. And for builders, developers, guys that may, and individuals that may want to build new homes, the lot prices out here around this school um, are extremely affordable. And uh, do your research, check into it, uh, see what you're dealing with, but uh, you have some real options. The city of Junction City uh, has a plan to where there will not be any special taxes out here on a lot of these lots as well. And so when you talk about affordability long term, when you talk about an area around the Junction City market that's not currently developed, and as this school is completed and more people would like to be close to the school, uh, your home values are going to uh, appreciate, which yes, I get it. That's going to mean higher taxes and things of that nature. But at the same time, it's a good investment in that home out in these markets. And so guys, if you uh, have any individuals, kind of any of the realtors that have uh, service members that they're working with that are considering possibly the Manhattan market or the Junction City market, here is a great selling point to let them know if, uh, if they want to look at an option uh, different, uh, this brand new high school may just be the thing. And so guys, if, uh, if you have any uh, questions, comments, put them below. I've got a ton of links, some information that we can share. I'll try to drop in on uh, the comments section below and we'll go from there, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll take care. Bye-bye.